Hi guys, Sarah Fuller here with Easy Adapted PE. So today I'm going to talk about the way that I gather data using Google Forms. And it's very simple. It's something that takes a little bit of legwork in the beginning, but then it becomes very seamless and very easy to obtain data and interpret data, especially when you're at those CSE meetings. I really believe that any time a physical education or adaptive physical education teacher can bring numbers and statistics and data into the mix, we really are given a little bit more respect. We're really looked at as very intelligent teachers and we care. We want the students to succeed and this is how we're showing it. So here we go. Okay, so the best way that I know to collect data on students' IEP goals is to do it in Google Forms, as I said. So you wanna to go to your drive, you want to label a folder. I've labeled an example, but you might put uh, Google Forms or Google Goals or you know 2021, 2022. You're going to right click within this area and you're gonna scroll down to Google Forms right here. You're gonna hover over this arrow and these options come up. You're gonna click blank form a new window will pop up. So in this new window, this is your blank Google form. So you're gonna label it with your student's name. I'm just gonna put student one, and I'm going to make up a goal off the top of my head. Now your goal might look different and that's totally fine. You do you when it comes to what the standards are in your state and for you know your dis school district. So the next thing you wanna do is make sure this is on multiple choice. So in this little part, I'm putting three out of five. Just so to remind myself, I like to put that there. You don't necessarily have to. And then I'm gonna add the choices. So zero out of five. So we want to make sure that we're adding a section for that. So you're going to go ahead and click add question or this little plus sign. And at this point, you're going to put assistance needed. And here I would put minimal. I like to add a third section. So if I come down here and I add my third section, instead of multiple choice, I'll do a short answer or a paragraph. So here, and I'll just write notes. So everything that I'm seeing, I'm writing down right away. So I'm not going back and trying to remember whether or not student one was able to catch the ball. Once you're done with that first student, you're gonna hit the equal sign. And that's when you're going to add the second student, so student number two, and their goal. And again, I kept it kind of the same, three out of five, just for time's sake, minimal, moderate, or maximum assistant, and the notes. Then I would add another section, so I'd hit this equal sign again, student number three. And again, I added each section using this plus sign, three sections, and then voila, I'm done. I'm not going to add another one. Let's just pretend that I only have three students that have adaptive PE goals. So once I'm done with that, I wanna hit send. Once I hit send, I'm gonna type in my email address so the email, or so the form comes to me because I'm the one that's filling it out. I come down here and I click the send button. And once I do that, I'm gonna go back to my email. Here it is. And here it is, it says, I've invited you to fill out a form, goals. So you click fill out the form. Now once you do that, here's your student one goal. And it has the goal. And then you go ahead and click however it is that student did. So let's pretend that student caught it the ball two out of five times and they had moderate assistance. Here we go. And then down here I wrote my little note in already. The student required tactile prompts to produce an accurate catch. So now that I have that done, I'm gonna hit the next button. And who comes up but student number two. Now a lot of the times, this is when I'll utilize my aids. My computer open and ready to go to so tell the aid what to put down. They click through that Google form and the data gets taken just like that. And I'm not doing extra work outside of that class time or I'm not trying to remember, oh man, like how did Johnny do on that? I'm not gonna write any notes. I'm gonna hit submit. Now, as soon as I hit submit, if I go back to my Google Forms that I made, there's gonna be a response right here. 
So you're going to go ahead and click responses. So here you can see the responses. So this is the first the first person or the first response. Uh, so you see how this is orange and you can even hover over it. It's going to tell you two out of five times. The assistance was moderate. You can see the color matches here. And here are my notes. Student two, same thing. So I only gave one answer. So it's going to have 100%. So let's say this was week one. And maybe you even you even title this week one. You know, it's really up to you how specific you want to get. But let's say it's the next week or the next time I want to collect data. I'm going to send uh, these questions to myself again. So I'm going to send myself the questions. So maybe I have to do this once a week. Maybe I do this once every other week. Not really a huge deal because I don't have to rewrite the questions. I'm just emailing it to myself. So I go back to my email. This is the second week or the second time I'm doing it. I fill out the form. And then I hit submit. And again, now when you go to this example goals, now there's two responses. So we click on this and now we can see this first student. So this is this first student's information here. here and you'll be able to interpret the data this way. I prefer, I'm more of a visual person and I prefer these pie charts better, but really everybody is different. That's all I have for you guys today. If you have an awesome way to collect data other than Google Forms or a different way of using them, please send me an email, leave a comment, subscribe, all the things, and I can't wait to learn and share more. All right, thanks. Bye.